Hello, and welcome to Dank's Cocktail Party. I'm Dank, your host. With me here is John, also known as Steamy Cheese on some platforms. And this is our first episode. Alright. And it's gonna and it's gonna be a great episode, I promise. So, uh, what are we? We are Dank's Cocktail Party, what we do. Uh, we like to have uh, a little fun. We play some games. And uh, and we we got some bits and gags, and, and we we'll drink cocktails. And That's we important. drink, indeed. Speaking of what I'm drinking tonight, I'll be drinking uh, Long Island iced tea. Getting down, getting down and heavy. What do you got? This is an iced tea. Hmm. Non-alcoholic. Plain old, plain old. Non-alcoholic for religious reasons. Uh huh. Before we get started, we want to start this off right with a toast. Uh, So wherever you are, grab a drink, alcoholic or not. Maybe you can't drink right now. Uh, That's okay. Join us for a toast to all the the good times we're going to have together. You and me. Cheers. Cheers. All right, let's get to it. Go easy on me. Hey, our names. Hold on. Oh, hey, I got my custom name. Give I'm not that. steamy. I'll be. Thank you. Hey, it's me. Who's poo? <laughs> I don't know. Who did that? The Wee Fit Trainer. Ah, let's see. How do you play this game again? <laughs> oh, hey. Alright. Oh. It's all about the, ah! the button mash. Oh, nice, nice. Come on, get up there. You can do this, we fit. Uh, oh what God, is that? So it looks like a cookie. Who, me? What? Yeah, you. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, I can't really deny it. Oh, no. Like, what have you been doing? Hmm. Hand. Hand. Gotta hand it to you. It's pretty annoying. <laughs> wow. oh, oh god. Good one. Ow. Oh. Oh. I died though. I wasn't really. Aww. Nice. Whoa. I got him. I got that Pikachu. We ah! fit. We fit. Yeah, we fit. <laughs> Where do we fit? What do we oh, fit? Oh no! In? I. Whatever. I guess we're gonna watch these bots duke it out. Mm. Sorry, guys, we suck. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let's random again. You're random. <laughs> I'm gonna be the dumbass piranha plant. Stupid. By the way, if you have the game and you don't have the, the fighter pass, you just check it out. You get access to all these goodies. Who are you? Gammon. Ah. Gammon Dwarf? Gammon Dwarf? <laughs> hey, what the hell? Come on, up, 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 up. Woo! Whoop. I'm hanging in there. Mm. How do I do my thing? Neutral B. Neutral B. Yeah, I tell you. Uh oh. It's Petey. What's he doing? Petey. Ah. Huh. I'm in the ground. And gammon. You're out of stocks. Yeah, I die. How am I still going here with? Oh, oh you got him. <laughs> Just barely eat that one out. Hmm. 173% on that last stock. I was hanging on by a thread. 
piranha plant. Yay, the piranha. <sighs> Stupid potted plant. <laughs> Let's be something annoying, like the villager. Wink. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> annoying in a different way. <laughs> but we need the right villager here. Let's do this one. Freaky. Sanic? Kind of reminds me of Silence of the Lambs. No, what that does? villager. Oh. Why? Look at him. It's a girl. How can you tell? <laughs> um. Because it goes male, female. Male. How do female. you know? <laughs> I think she's wearing a dress and an apron. <laughs> What is up with that one? Freak. I like that one. It's the weirdest looking one. <laughs> Do it. Oh, Little Mac. Little Mac. Pfft. Hold on. Who, who, uh... What? Pink Jacket Little Mac. Yeah. That's, uh, training. In training, Little Mac. <laughs> Villager. Little Mac. Diddy Kong. Da, da, da. And Meta Knight. Hmm. Oh, oh. Woo. Ah! Nice. Whoa, long ass recovery time. Ow. Hey. Oh. Oh. I just got double teamed. What? What's even going on here? They what? built a house around me <laughs> and I died. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Typically, <laughs> a roof over your head is like a good way to live, right? They built it. They didn't build it according to code. And it collapsed. Damn it. Aha, I got oh. it. Oh. Now I'm big. I'm Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Big Mac Punch. Hey! Good game. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Couldn't have done it without you, coach. Yeah. It's time for... What do we call it? Dink's Cocktail Party Book Club. Yeah. Okay. So, we have uh, a couple of our favorite picks here from the week, right? Yeah. Uh, I'll start. Uh, uh, this became one of my favorite titles here. It's called uh, Black Belt Brown Fury by Willie Slip. Yeah. It's great. It's about, uh, it's about a man with IBS who uses Kung Fu to get a hold of his condition. It's just riveting, inspiring. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take out one of my favorite passages here. <clears throat> All right. I'd hope the day that I would need to use my Kung Fu to defend myself in real combat would never come, but one night, my training would be put to the test. I was at my favorite bar having a good time, but a fellow patron took issue with the band t-shirt I was wearing. I even heard his murmurs across the room about how he wanted to give me a swirly so bad. <laughs> I tried to play it safe and take the high road, so I bid my company farewell and left as calmly as I could. As I walked out to my car, I heard an angry voice behind me. Where do you think you're going? Slowly, I turned around to face the man from the bar and told him, I'm not looking for any trouble. <clears throat> if you came here with that shirt on, you must have been, he replied. I said, if you just let me go, no one has to get hurt. <laughs> it's too late for that, he bellowed as he began to charge. There was some distance between us, so I had plenty of time to react. I lifted my leg in rearing skunk stance, and the man braced his arms in front of him, expecting a kick. Before he knew what happened, his feet had slipped out from beneath him. He fell, face first, into the hood of a car, hard enough to knock himself out. My training was complete. As I stood over that poor fellow laying unconscious in a brown puddle, I realized something. I hadn't just defeated that man. 
I had mastered my condition and defeated my self-doubt. Wow. Beautiful. Inspiring. Wow. Goosebumps. <laughs> All right, what's your what's your favorite one of your favorite reads from the week, huh? Oh gosh. So here we have a uh, classic. It's now a New York Times number one bestseller, even. And this is My Struggle by Adolf Hitler, not the dictator, if you'll notice. <laughs> this is uh, an inspiring account of growing up sharing a name with one of history's greatest villains. <clears throat> How unfortunate. <sighs> yeah, let's just have a look-see here. I marked one of my favorite passages, and it kind of really shows what the book is all about. Let's hear it. I was just nine years old, but the memory has followed me for the rest of my life. I was standing in line, getting my school lunch. I kindly let the woman behind the counter know that I would like a glass of juice. Her jaw dropped as she stared at me for a few long seconds, then screamed, Did you just say you want to gas the juice? I did not know what that meant at the time, but the shocked expressions throughout the entire cafeteria told me it was not good. It only got worse from there, and all because of the name that I never asked for. I cursed being born with the name Adolf Hitler, and whenever I brought it up to my parents, they told me it was just one of those inexplicable coincidences, and that their son would not be bullied into changing his given name. Wow. Unfortunate. Most unfortunate. That man, he really went through a lot. <laughs> it, uh... You know, reading through that book, it really helped inspire compassion. You know? <laughs> I get it. I really look at people through a different lens. Especially people named Adolf Hitler. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, this one, you know... Uh, I, uh... It wasn't the greatest read, I don't think. But, uh, you know... You know, it's worth mentioning. Uh, this one's called On His Beat by, by a man I have never heard of called Dick in Hand. <laughs> uh, let's just, uh, let's just, uh, I'll just pick one, pick one of these passages out here. Where's that page? Come on now. There it is. There you are. You silly all right. page. It's, uh, it's like a detective mystery. All right, so 5 p.m. I parked on the curb across from our motel. It's kind of kind of dark, kind of noir, you know? At 6.30, I reach for, for the camera and watch carefully as the lights flickered on in her room. All I had to do was stick around long enough, and all her dirty little secrets would be exposed. Within minutes, the action started. I steadily worked the camera with one hand. I was about to get everything I came for. But then something happened. Just as I was about to seal the deal, I heard a rapping on my passenger window. I looked over to see an old woman beating on the window with her cane. That's disgusting, you pervert, she spouted. Everyone can see you. This is a public street. <clears throat> I hastily snapped a few more pictures before I put my gear back and drove away as casually as I could. <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, distasteful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and last but not least, here we go. This is uh, a book called You're Not Doing Enough, Gaming Culture and Its Lack of Inclusivity by Barb Butch. I'm not sure I remember this one, but... Ah, I do have a page marked. We have seen an increase in exclusivity and toxic behavior like never before. After, after deciding to play Call of Duty for the first time, since it was, after all, uninteresting to me until I noticed how much it needed to change, I jumped straight into the multiplayer mode. I was there to prove a point, and it was, in fact, proven immediately upon the start of the game. Wow, this guy sucks, I heard one say. 
LOL nub, one said in text. <laughs> I started, ha, huh, surprise, I'm a woman. Now that I've popped your fragile little bubbles, I'm telling you that too many groups have been marginalized in, in gaming for too long, and you are not doing enough. Wow. I, uh, that gives me a lot to think about. <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Back to the game. Random. Random? Random. I will be... Shulk. Shulk? It's a pretty weird name. Yeah. It sounds kind of like Shirk. Like, he's kind of lazy, maybe? Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt. Kind of a name for a character is Duck Hunt. What's your name? Duck Hunt. What? <laughs> okay, how do you use this guy? Yay. Ducks. Whoa, I just got duck hunted. <laughs> Oh wow! Okay, you so this thing firing is a selector. Execution by firing squad. Whoop. Hey, what even is that? That's a dinosaur. It's breathing fire. Shut up! It's Godzilla. Oh, but you know, fire. Hmm. No, not shield. Let's do that one. Buster! Dude. Dude. <laughs> the floor fell out from under me. That's not fair. Get him with the duck. Yeah, I'll get him with the duck. It's kind of weird. Like, usually those ducks are in that dog's mouth. Gotcha! <clears throat> yeah. Aw. Uh, Not this time. That guy just got hammered. I want to be... Samus. I can be the curbs. Kirby. Curb stomp. Lucario and Alf. Elf is not Olimar. Oh. Did you know? Well, I mean, they have different names. So I guess. It... Pikmin. Yay. Ha! Stop! I'll throw my Pikmin at you. Ah. Wow. This is not a good day for Kirby. Is one of those a uh, fakey? Or Probably. are there two? Yeah, I don't know. Huh. Oh, oh, that one was fake. All right. Good game. Good game. Okay. Big time. Okay. I'm going to be this dumbass. I'm going to be... Um, Falcon. Uh. Stop it, Rob. <laughs> ha! That's what I wanted to do. No. Oh my God. Falcon. Oh. No! Dang! Damn you, Lucina! I'll get you! Dang! Being arrogant! 
<laughs> oh, what? damn. You just got smashed. Just the sheer... She just destroyed you. Mm. All right. Impetulant. We're going to move on to letters. The next thing. The next thing, yeah. Um, so we were we went digging around, cleaning out the garage or whatever, and we found these uh, letters that we wrote to ourselves as children. Uh, yeah, haven't read them yet, but uh, I figure we'll share them with the world. So you can all see where we came from, right? Yeah. So here goes. <clears throat> Dear Daniel, I bet that by the time you read this, you've accomplished everything you wanted to do and got everything you wanted out of life. That means you're probably reading this in space because you're an astronaut and you got that huge mansion in space and a super hot space wife. But even with all that success and fortune, I hope you still remembered one thing. How awesome pogs are. You still have them, right? I knew you would. Never forget. Pogs made you. You know what? Too bad I don't have my pogs. <laughs> <clears throat> Here we go. This is, this is steamy as a child. Yeah. yeah. Dear John. What's it like in the future? I bet there are flying cars everywhere and everyone has robot servants. Do you ever wonder if your robot servant has thoughts of its own? I wonder about that a lot too. How do the flying self-piloting cars not always crash into each other? I don't know, but maybe you do. It's really cool though. So, the robots, they might be sitting there thinking about killing us right now and we don't even know it. I think that's freaky. I hope you have contacted spirits or aliens or something by now, because that would be cool too. It's not as cool as the video games, though. I know that there are super real video games now, and I can't wait. Actually, being in the game sounds awesome. But what if you get trapped in the game? I really hope that hasn't happened to you, and if it has, I know you can fight your way out. Sincerely, John. Wow. Wow. Way off the mark. <laughs> Couldn't have been more wrong. Well, where the f are our flying cars? So much for the past, huh? Uh, all right, back to the they game. They promised us flying cars. Wrapping up, we'll be moving on to hard mode. We have a list of unique challenges that we have lined up that we will be drawing from this hard hat. But um. Let's start it off. Okay. What do we got here? Oh, must be this one. Oh, nice. Long fingers. Long fingers. We put a lot of work into that one. Yeah, so you better f***ing love it, people. Okay. Alright, here we go. Book balancing! Alright! That's, uh, what it <laughs> sounds like. Gets to balance a book on his head while he plays a game. And me, I get to wear these special gloves. Can I even just do this while sitting? <laughs> Good question. Can you even balance the book on your head? Oh, no. So We're basically, if the book gloves. falls off... I have to uh, stop playing and make sure the book is. He's got to reset. Back it. atop my head. And me? Well. This doesn't feel right. I just got these damn long fingers. It'll never feel right. Whoa. Nice. <clears throat> Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'll figure this out. <laughs> okay. It's just... I don't know, the book one isn't so bad. Okay. I'm it's ready. Like a... Wait. Oh. Ooh. It's, it's like a medium yeah, modifier. Pinch it, pinch it. This is like medium difficulty. I'm just gonna work it like a little nippy. There you go. Oh. oh, come on, come on! I can't even pick a character. I wanna be I think you're Pikachu. Just get wrecked. Ah! <laughs> well, this doesn't seem fair at all. <laughs> I'm gonna figure this out. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Eh. You got it? No. <laughs> uh, there we go. Nice. Hey. Success. Okay, maybe if I kind of like. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Are you? Yeah, do it. I'll be game and watch. All right. Kick your ass with my long fingers. We're starting. <clears throat> We're going for it. Ah, yeah, I got it. I can work it like this. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Oh, come on. Hey, hey. You know, this isn't even like a hard. It's not even like a medium modifier. This is like easy. Aw. Uh, this is like easy. Modifier. I'm having a hell of a time. Yeah, I can Come tell. on. Uh, get it. Hey, no. Get it, Pikachu. Get it. Get it. <laughs> no. What's going on? Oh, come on, Pikachu. Up, up, up. No. Dang. This is hard. Uh, Am I dead? Uh, no, no, I'm not. You're not Maybe even a I, threat, though. Uh, <laughs> if I could just press any single button. Oh, no. Come on. No, get over there. Oh, wait. Long fingers. This is hard. Yeah, I'm not doing any worse than usual. Well... So. You. <laughs> I have uh, unending focus. I have long fingers. Nope. They do nothing for me. Indeed. Eight. Three. You, you think with all that extra reach? Oh gosh. You know, just. Oh no doesn't give you the advantage. Uh, next challenge. Up, up, up. Hold it up. Oh my god. Here. Look at the helmet. What is it? What's the challenge? Upside down? Upside down? Oh wow, you get to wear the special inversion goggles. Homemade. Yeah. That's some fancy yeah. stuff, people. Yeah, yeah. So what these You do, can't buy these in a store. Is these prisms in front of the goggles flip it upside down. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh it's novel until you get sick. <laughs> um Okay, my turn. What do we got in here? There we go. Alright, there's a little double vision. They're a little crooked, too. One-handed? You know. No problem. It's upside down, remember? Yeah. Your controls are reversed. But not... <laughs> sort of. Oh, my God, I hate it. <laughs> Just yeah. the Y axis. Just the Y. Flipped Y. 
Where is he? There he is. There and he everything is. is. I'm going to be Donkey so... Kong with one hand. Absolutely f- atrocious. I have to maybe do like this. Cut. Cut. <laughs> Best challenge. Inverting goggles. Hey. Did you pick your character? Yeah. You picked your character too. And then you didn't. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do this. I got one hand. You got... Upside down eyes. Upside down eyes. Whatever that means. Wait a second. Okay. Okay, we can do this. Come on, donkey. Come on, donkey. Okay, this All isn't right, this as easy isn't as so I bad. thought it was. Okay. I gotta... Oh, there we go. Ha ha! No. I can just spam my, my corpse. Ha! Go the other way, guy. No, come on. Oh. No! Oh. There we go. No! Oh, really? Oh, what is hitting oh. me? I don't... See? Oh, it's a... So uh, it's a Pokemon. Stop. He's, he's giving you the business there. We're doing math. Wait, no. Huh. Now we're in a castle. There's a guy on a Pegasus. What is this? Like, the numbers saying, I want to say Brain Age. But this is bizarro this... upside down realm. <laughs> Oh no! Ho ho! Huh? Oh no, I just. He painted up the screen with a giant X. How does that help the guy who uses it? <laughs> it's awful. Just awful. Get the assist! I try. You got it! I did. It's a puppet dog. It's not gonna help you. <sighs> Stupid dog. Yes. Double dog. Dumb dog. Wait. Oh. You're gone. Done for. Well, this is hard mode. I can take these off now. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. Great first episode. <clears throat> yeah? I think so. I hope you can join us for many, many more in the future. Speaking of, if you'd like to see more Dink's Cocktail Party, be sure to show us your support. Like and uh, find us on social media. We have a Twitter. You can find us on Twitter at Cocktail Dank and Facebook. What is our page? Uh, Dank's Cocktail Party. Hey, it's so easy. All right, folks. And in the future, we uh, we definitely have more episodes coming soon. Hope you stick with us. Uh, it's a little bit trying. This first episode it was a little rough, but it, they'll only get better from here. I promise. Yeah, yeah, you know, we, we got ambitions and Right. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of, we have a lot more planned. We actually want to do, we, we want to show you guys a whole lot more. So be sure to show us that initial support. Drop in, uh, give us a comment, like us, uh, and pretty soon we'll be, we'll be. Share some criticism. <laughs> yeah, if you want, you know. Don't be too mean, though. Yeah, be gentle. <laughs> We're new to this. Don't hurt my feeling. All right. <clears throat> well, great first run. Yeah. Yeah. Swimming. Till next time, folks.